So today we're going to talk about uh, you know, Oracle uh, Autonomous Services and uh, Oracle's Generation 2 Cloud. Uh, and we're going to be announcing some new autonomous services. Now, up until now, all of our autonomous services, the Oracle Autonomous Database, Oracle Autonomous Linux, and so on, have only been available in our public cloud. Uh, but today we'll be announcing for the very first time that these autonomous services, in fact, all of our autonomous services will be available both in the Oracle public cloud and in our customer's data center, an Oracle clouded customer. So the identical uh, autonomous services that have been available in the, in the public cloud uh, are now available behind your firewall, in your data center, in our product called Oracle clouded customer. And this year, we're announcing another autonomous uh, service uh, and it's autonomous data guard. And it's available at the end of this month. Uh, an autonomous data guard prevents and eliminates site downtime. So if you're running your application in one data center and there should be a disaster in that data center, a flood, a fire, something like that, your application continues to run because we have a copy of that application ready to run in another data center, probably pretty far away. So autonomous data guard means that your primary production system is in one data center, your secondary or your, your standby version is sitting in another data center. Now, again, this is completely autonomous. You simply say you want, you want to turn on autonomous data guard. And this automatically cre uh, you know, provisions uh, your, uh, your standby copy in a different data center, it automatically sends the redo logs from your primary copy to your product uh, to your uh, your standby copy. It does all of this stuff auto completely automatically. And then, if your if your primary data center should vanish uh, for any reason, your your primary uh, version should fail. Uh, everything switches over to your uh, uh, the, your, your backup uh, your backup standby and you keep running and no one even notices the fact that your primary has gone down because the data is because of a data center flood uh because you, everything is again completely automated and your secondary comes up automatically and starts running again fully autonomous you don't have to do anything to create the uh the standby copy you don't have to do anything to send the logs from the primary to the backup. You don't have to do anything if the primary fails. There's no human intervention at all for everything from provisioning uh, to operating the system. It's completely autonomous. Autonomous Data Guard, like Autonomous Linux before it and Autonomous Database, are all available in the Oracle Public Cloud. The most important service that you'd expect to get uh, in our Gen 2 clouded customer is the autonomous database. And it is available now, running on our, our Gen 2 Exadata clouded customer. Okay, so we're announcing Oracle Autonomous Database available in our customer's data center uh, running on clouded customer. And the autonomous database that's running at clouded customer is identical to the autonomous database that runs in our Gen 2 public cloud. The only difference in one case, it runs in the public cloud. In the other case, in place of clouded customer, it runs behind your firewall in your data center. The Oracle cloud uh, manages the clouded customer database, but the data in clouded customer always stays in your data center. So if there, you know, there are certain data you know, regulations, data sovereignty rules, that your institution uh, an organization has to follow. We make, uh, and if you want it that way, uh, we make sure that all of your data stays in your data center behind your firewall, but you get the full capability, the full capability of the autonomous database. There's really no difference between the autonomous database uh, clouded customer and the autonomous database public cloud. Uh, and in, in fact, uh, use the same management console for managing both. In fact, if you look at your management console, you can see all of your databases on one screen, uh, whether they're clouded customer databases or public cloud databases. And you can freely move, move if you want to, 
if you want to, you don't have to, but you can freely move, move a cloud customer database into the public cloud, uh, a public cloud database into the cloud, uh, into cloud customer. On the other hand, if you have strict data sovereignty rules, you can, uh, all, of, all of your data that's in cloud customer can stay behind, in your data center behind your firewall. Uh, it's fully serverless, fully elastic. You only pay for what you use using universal credits. The pricing is identical to public cloud. We can install it, uh, unlike our generation one, which was a complicated install, clouded customer. Uh, Gen two uh, clouded customer is a very simple install uh, and you're up and running in a few days and it's as easy to use as uh, the Gen two public cloud. In fact, it's the same exact console to operate it. There's no different in using the public cloud and the Gen two uh, clouded customer. Okay, uh, we've got some early adopters of uh, Oracle Autonomous Database clouded customer, uh, including Samsung, who's got 300 exadata appliances, uh, and they're going to start moving to clouded customer. Uh, Docomo, which is the largest uh, uh, lar largest mobile telephone company uh, in Japan by far, I think they're about 80 million users. Uh, they have a lot of exadatas and uh, they think they can reduce costs dramatically by moving from Exadatas to clouded customer. And Intel is a, a Latin American uh, telecommunications company that's also aggressively moving uh, to clouded customer. Exadata clouded customer for autonomous database. Next announcement is a, another cloud customer announcement. And this is a dedicated region Gen 2 Cloud Customer. Nobody in the world has anything like this. This is a real, I think, a really interesting announcement. Uh, and it's available immediately. All right, what is it? What is a dedicated region, Gen 2 Cloud Customer? Well, imagine we took all of our Gen 2 public cloud, and I mean all of it, and put it behind your firewall in your data center. Now, keep in mind the Exadata, a Gen 2 clouded customer, puts a bunch of Exadatas behind your firewall, and we give you autonomous data warehouse and autonomous transaction processing. We give you the entire Oracle database behind your firewall. That's what the Exadata clouded customer does. But it's just the database behind your firewall. In this case of a dedicated region, it's not just the database. It's everything, everything in the Gen 2 public cloud, we drop and put inside your data center behind your firewall. And I mean everything, fusion applications, the autonomous database, autonomous Linux, autonomous data guard, Oracle manages it and maintains it. Uh, there's one console for managing uh, the dedicated region, the public cloud, and Exadata Cloud customer. All of your cloud assets, all of your Oracle Gen 2 cloud assets, you manage the same exact way with a single management console. The SLAs with public cloud apply unchanged to dedicated region. You only pay for what you use. You use universal credits. Uh, the prices are identical to the public cloud. No one not Amazon, not Microsoft, not Google, nobody gives you a complete public cloud behind your firewall dedicated to you. This is a first in the cloud industry. Okay, so we really have two clouded customer offerings. We have uh, the autonomous database Exadata clouded customer, which takes all of the Oracle database, autonomous database, all the versions of Oracle uh, Enterprise Edition, it takes all of that stuff and puts it behind your firewall. And it's very inexpensive. The minimum fees are, are uh, about $10,000 a month. But again, there are no upfront costs. There are no upfront costs and you only pay for what you use using universal credits. But there is a minimum charge for putting that hardware behind your firewall. And in the case of uh, Exadata Cloud to Customer, it's around $10,000. Now to get a dedicated region, over 50 cloud services, data management, fusion SaaS applications, all of them, analytics, big data, compute, storage, application development, management governance, security, everything. Get our entire public cloud dedicated to you in your region behind your firewall. 
uh, again, relatively inexpensive, about $500,000 a month. But again, there's no upfront cost and you only pay for what you use. We think this is a very, very big deal. Oracle Cloud, a customer, has a unique attribute in terms of fully supporting data sovereignty and data residency uh, compliance requirements. With the Oracle Cloud, a customer, your data never leaves your data center unless you want it to. I mean, feel free to back up your back up your clouded customer uh, in an Oracle public region. But if the rules are, you know, you're a government agency and that data can never leave your country or that data can never leave your data center, you, you can back up uh, from one uh, clouded customer install to another clouded customer install. So your data, if you like, your data never, ever leaves your data center unless you want it to. So we adhere to the strictest data residency and data sovereignty requirements. That's simply not true with AWS Outposts. With AWS Outposts, your data leaves your data center every single day because all the daily backups are sent from AWS to, uh, from, from, your, from an AWS Outpost into the AWS uh, um, public cloud. And that happens every single day and there's no way around it. We have a public cloud with autonomous database, autonomous operations, autonomous Linux, autonomous data guard, lots and lots of capabilities, a full suite of SaaS applications starting with Fusion. Uh, we have all of those capabilities in the public cloud also available in a dedicated region, cloud a customer, every single one of them. And uh, if you're a big database customer and you'd like, uh, you'd like the, the latest and greatest database technology, in your data center behind your firewall. You can get that starting at $10,000 a month with Exadata Database Clouded Customer. All the capabilities you need where you need them. We've got some early adopters of our dedicated region. Uh, one, of the, one of the more interesting ones uh, is NRI, uh, Nomura Research. Uh, they're a very obviously you know, very large management consulting and economic research firm in Japan. Uh, they picked uh, our dedicated region because of its performance, its broad range of capability, and of course the fact that we could meet the data residency requirements that the, their data never had to leave their data center. And it could all be in, uh, all kept in Japan, now, uh, and they decided they didn't want to use our, our Japan public cloud but they would rather keep it all inside of their, uh, uh, because they're a regulated industry. They're a big investment bank uh, and they're a regulated industry and for compliance and regulatory reasons, data sovereignty reasons, they picked the Oracle dedicated region and they sacrificed nothing. They, you know, all the same capabilities of the Oracle public cloud, they put in their data center. Another example is the state of Oman uh, is centralizing uh, the IT operations for a bunch of uh, different government organizations. And again, the, uh, the, the full capability of Oracle Cloud and customer, that they, uh, they got all the capabilities of a public cloud uh, built inside of their data center uh, for all these separate government agencies with very strict, uh, very strict data sovereignty rules. Uh, but the biggest thing is they got the same price performance you get in the Oracle public cloud, which was better than any other cloud that they looked at. They got high degrees of data privacy and security. They could run Oracle and non-Oracle workloads. And, uh, and they, they complied fully with the data, data sovereignty requirements of uh, the Oman government. We offer you three choices. You can use the Oracle public cloud with all of our different services, uh, Autonomous database, autonomous Linux, autonomous data guard, basic things, compute, store, storage, high-speed RDMA networks. You can get that in the public cloud. Now you can get that, all of that for the first time, you can get that in a dedicated region clouded customer. And if you don't want to uh, do a full dedicated region behind your firewall, but you'd like your data, you'd like your data behind your firewall, uh, we can do just the data portion with Exadata Database Clouded Customer. And we could do that at a very inexpensive price. So you get all of the services you need, where you use them, 
The pricing is the same. The SLAs are the same. The choice is yours.